I have a surprise, a fun surprise. It's not a surprise for me, but a surprise for you guys, I guess. I have these two giant boxes. So I think they are um, from Jackson's Art. I needed, needed to replace about four of my colored pencils. I don't know why they put them in two boxes and made the boxes so big. Uh, I may have bought a few more things, like a, a lot, a lot of new things. It's fine. <laughs> I can stop anytime I want. I'm fine. But let's just have a look at what I got. I'm going to open them up first and then we'll go through them and maybe have some fun swatching and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll probably come back later in the week and play with them or at the weekend. I just want to open them up right now. I'm just too excited to wait. All right. First thing are the sketchbooks. Not the most exciting thing in the world. But if you like sketchbooks, they're pretty exciting. I wanted to get another A3 sketchbook, uh, try something a bit different. So I do have the A3 Moleskin, and I went for the A3 C White, which uh, I think I've used them before. It was a little bit cheaper. They actually are having a special on C White. Oh, the, I've got all these from Jackson's Art, sorry. They're having a special on the um, sketchbooks. So I got another A3, and I also got an A4. Because I do go through my sketchbooks quite quite fast. And then I got one, two, three, four, five boxes of stuff in there. This one's very light. I don't know what's in there. And I also got this here. Um, I've never heard of this before. It's called Art Graph water soluble I think they're inks water soluble inks um I saw Sandy Hester use them after she saw Sarah Dyer use them so it's artist's inception and uh they looked so beautiful they didn't have them in they had a lot of them out of stock so I just got the whole pack to try and yeah I'm excited to try them they look really nice the colors look really beautiful all right let's open the boxes so first things are the pencils, which I got a few uh, replacements. Let me see if I can find all the replacements first. So these are all of my replacements. I got five. That was the whole reason I went on Jackson's Art to begin with. And then I also got some new colours, although I believe I already have yellow ochre. See, in this colour now, um, I should have checked before I bought it, which is fine. Because uh, I use that colour quite a bit. And I could say so the new ones I got were olive brown 50%, moss green, this beautiful pink colour here called violet pink, another pinky colour called burnt ochre 10%, and then the yellow ochre. So these were my pencils that I got. The second thing I got were some acrylic paints. Um, I've been wanting to, I've been really getting into using my acrylics. I've been using mainly these guys, Paper Artsy, because they're really lovely and matte. And I did go on their website and they do have a lot of colours, but it wouldn't let me order unless I had spent $150. And um, I didn't want to spend that much. So I decided to try some proper, like, really good acrylic paints which I've been wanting to try for a while I've just been put off because they are very expensive so I didn't have any plan in mind I just literally chose some colors that I thought would be nice I'm just noticing these colors look very similar but this one looks more opaque so I, I went with the golden acrylics which I've heard are very good and Liquitex which I don't know much about but I do like the Liquitex paint pens so I have a burnt sienna a light bismuth yellow <laughs> Thalo cyanine blue, vivid lime green, and then in the golden acrylics, I have smoked blue, titan green pale, and titan mars pale. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure if, these, if this is a good color combo to start with, but I just need to test the two out, see which one I like, and maybe I'll maybe if I like both of them and they have different colors, or I think the liquid text were actually a little bit cheaper. Um, I might buy some more. So I'll test those out too. And then the biggest purchase I made were something I never thought I would ever, ever buy. Soft pastels. 
So I got these because I, I again I saw Sandy Hester using them and I, I know I was talking to some people I think it was on Odd Orange's um Odd Orange's art uh, drawing session that she has a few people were talking about drawing pastels after I mentioned it and saying that uh, they're kind of trending right now so I didn't know I was so trendy <laughs> but uh, I basically saw Sandy has to use them and I can't remember if she mentioned someone else was using them but uh, I mean I think we all get inspired by each other don't we so I decided to try them out the, really the only reason I got them is because you can use them with water and they looked so nice when they were used with water I would not use these normally I've never enjoyed pastels ever I've never enjoyed oil pastels uh, chalk pastels I've never tried soft pastels before which I know are different than chalk pastels um, but yeah I'm really I want to put more energy and more vibrancy into my paintings I want them to be more I don't know I don't know what I want I just more so I thought maybe the answer is more pastels um, I will get them all out and then we can take a look because they're all in individual boxes like this all right so these are all the pastels I got I got a few unison pastels which I've heard are really good and these are a lot smaller than I thought I don't know why I thought they were gonna be like fat fat boys um, but yeah so I don't know what colors I got I just picked a whole bunch of colors that I thought looked nice so when I swatch them I'll try and remember all of the names of them and then I also got some Jackson's art ones to compare because these were a lot cheaper they were like half the price almost and I have heard other people use them in their videos before and say they're good quality as well so I'm just going to give those a test I got a mixture of dark colors so a dark gray a dark violet purple I got some mid-tones like the um, these blues and some greens and then I got some lighter colors like uh, these paler colors here uh, I don't know if this color palette is going to go together but I really want to test them I don't know if all of these pastels are going to go together but what I really want to do is not um, I, I'm not interested in making like pastel drawings or anything I just want to use them with mixed media so I'm more interested in how they go with my other materials um, and I think that's what I'm going to do probably this weekend. It's Thursday now and it's lunchtime uh, at work this afternoon. It should be fairly quiet, but I need to get through the next couple of days before I can completely relax. I always find when I'm doing stuff with new materials and I really want to spend like a couple hours really playing and getting to know them that I just need to have like my mind quiet, if that makes sense. And so doing them in the evening after work or at lunchtime I'm still like thinking oh you know I've still got so much to do today and I'm in like a schedule so yeah I'll definitely do some of the weekend I'm looking forward to it also this weekend we're going on a really long 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 walk hopefully if the weather's nice so uh, one of the days is going to be completely gone I might try and make Saturday art day which will be cool so um yeah meet me back here for art day and uh we'll test all the materials which will be awesome it's Saturday now, uh, Saturday mid-morning, and uh, I'm ready to sit down and swatch everything. I almost felt like doing that on Thursday and Friday, but I didn't. I waited until the weekend so I'd have lots of time and light as well because it's been getting uh, darker later. No, wait. It's been getting darker earlier now. Um, you may hear the washing machine. It's doing its thing. I'm going to be swatching them first in this sketchbook which is the Jackson's Arts watercolour sketchbook and then I thought it might be nice to film a little bit um, doing a full piece kind of using a selection of the materials in this big boy which is the Moleskine, um, the Moleskine A3 sketchbook because I thought it might be nice to kind of uh, put them into an image to uh, see how they'll work but uh, sometimes you can it's easier to like get the feel of them rather than just swatching so that's what i'm gonna do now um got my water i've got the washing machine going crazy in the background i don't know if you can hear it and i'm ready to go so let's get swatching so first i'll just uh, use these new pencils that i got uh very earthy colors actually nothing bright nothing bright or vibrant 
This one is dark indigo and it looked completely black but I know it's not black. It's like a very dark blue because I really love using a darker colour for like outlines or details but not black. This one actually looks almost black. I think I have a black actually. Yes. I think this one's black. So let's see the difference. Oh yeah, so this one is dark indigo is a lot bluer. This almost looks green compared to that one. It's weird. And then I've got the moss green. So I wanted to try get another green. So that's a really nice green. It reminds me of one I already have. Let me find it. I have my all of my pencils scattered everywhere because I'm using them for different colour palettes. Reminds me of this one here, chromium oxide green, which I think may be darker. No, it's lighter. Chromium oxide green is almost like it's got a little bit of white mixed into it, like it's a little more pastel-y and bluer. So that's a nice one, like an olive green almost. Next one actually is olive, olive brown, 50%. And I think I have, I don't know if I have an, another olive brown, I have an olive yellow. But yeah, I don't have an olive brown, so it's just like a very desaturated green. It's nice, I like it. And then next up we've got a couple of pinks. This one here is violet pink, which I don't know why, just popped out to me when I was on Jackson's Art. I never, um, I kind of get more drawn towards the orangey pinks, like salmon. So this one's more kind of like a bluer, like a blush colour. It's really nice. And then lastly is ochre, oh, burnt ochre 10%. <gasps> That's nice. That kind of reminds me, is it the flesh? Reminds me of another colour I have. I don't know where it would be. Is it in this pot? <laughs> I have them everywhere. Burnt Sienna. This one's Burnt Sienna. That one's a little more pink. And then this one, Quinacridone, would be... I'm just trying to see what colours they are. Okay, so yeah, that one is... This one's like more ready. What a nice little colour palette that is just there. them into my Caran Dash pot there and let's move on okay so I'm gonna leave the pastels to last I'm the most excited about the pastels but I'm gonna leave them to last I think I'm gonna look at the paints next and we'll do them on this side so we don't do any pushing through yeah I've never used these before so I am very curious to see what they're like um, I mean I'm not really sure how to tell if acrylics are good apart from if they are uh like not opaque like not super runny and transparent because i know on the i have some like student grade acrylics uh i think Dow dowley what is it called um rona rona dowley dowley rona uh and they are really cheap like you can they just feel cheap so i guess that these are almost like cr creamy like you can tell look, look at that i can't see the camera <laughs> it's so pretty okay wow that green is super super bright i don't know like i've kind of gone out of really bright colors i'm enjoying the more muted colors lately and that is very bright but also at the same time i do really like a nice bright color like i've been using bright fluorescent pinks and stuff and that's kind of fun okay that's quite i mean yeah that's right <laughs> i don't really i don't know anything about acrylics so i really feel like i can't judge um i'm like really bad at knowing if something's good or bad and I like judging or explaining anything. 
So please, this is not a review. It is nothing professional whatsoever. It's literally me, a uh, complete noob, <laughs> putting colors down. Oh, that is lovely though, look at that. Okay, so straight, just quickly, between Liquitex and Golden, just from my own like gut feeling, um, I feel like I, these are nicer. It may just be the pigments, like I know some pigments are more translucent than others, but this, just with <laughs> the 10 seconds that I've known them, uh, I do think I like the golden better. But hey, we still got four colors to go, so let's keep going. This one's Titan Mars Pale, this one was Titan Mars Green, and this one was Vivid Lime Green, and they did not lie about that. Alright, I love this colour. These colours are some of my favourites right now. Like this kind of, this colour, this pale um, salmon-y. Kind of like you can almost see in these colours that I went for. Like my preference right now. Which is really interesting. So yeah, these just feel nice. Like, I don't know if you can see this on the Vivid Line Green. You can kind of see the strokes here. But on here, it's almost like flat colour. That's a beautiful colour too, isn't it? I'll probably doodle over this page when it's dry. Just so it's not wasted on a swatch page. Alright, back to Liquitex. So let's see if, if I'm liking this still or if it feels a bit weird. This one is Burnt Sienna. So it should be a nice, rich, ready brown. Yeah, so it definitely feels a little more translucent, not as much coverage, less creamy. But I think you might be able to get some nice like washes and stuff with this. And I guess if you like texture as well, you can get texture in the strokes. And then we're gonna completely make the page look very strange because I have two blues now, which don't, I don't think is gonna go with these colors. This one doesn't really go. All right, back to golden. This is smoked hue. And you can actually see on the golden ones, uh, they put like these black lines here so you can see the translucency of them, which is cool. So these ones here are super opaque. And I feel like I would enjoy a more opaque paint than a more translucent paint. But again, I don't really have much experience with acrylics, so I am learning as I go. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that translucent. Wow, that's such such a difference from like these lighter colors. Isn't that crazy, the difference between them? I guess you can mix it with white paint. Oh, I didn't buy any white paint. What a noob. So the first thing I should have done bought, a, bought a, a white paint, right? So I could have mixed them. Okay, this one is Phalo Cyanine Blue. I do quite like this color, it's a bit on the violet side though. All right, let's see what this one's. Oh, wow, look how blue that is. Okay, that blue is really nice. I like it when it's thick, that's what she said. But uh, do I like it when it's watered down is the question. It's very vibrant. It's nice though. I bet. If I mix this green with that blue, I bet that would be such a nice colour. Let's try it. Yeah, look how, look how nice that is. It's like a kind of like a cool pale blue green. Oh, I like that. Well, I'm seeing some possibilities. Maybe we should try that with the other blue. Let's see if that, that works with the other blue. Can't get over how translucent that is. Isn't that crazy? It almost feels like a like it's a different, completely different material. Like it's not paint. It feels just something like diff. Oh, I thought that was my drinking water. Then that scared me. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to say it feels completely like different, like not actual paint. It was like I don't know, it's like weird. All right, let's mix this together. All right, so it doesn't take on as much of the pigment, but. Interesting colour. I think I definitely like this one better. 
this one's like very um on the red side like violet and this one's nice on the green side so like i was saying before about the paints um so i think i thought just from a gut feeling that the golden felt better i'm not sure if it's just the pigments maybe like um this one here felt really weird and that was a golden because it was very translucent so let me know if you have experienced both liquitex and golden or if there's another paint that you really like that you prefer um i'm not sure how much like acrylic stuff I, i'm not going to be full-on just acrylic like just a painting you know like i still really love mixed media so uh, i won't be using this as a full painting but i definitely would like to maybe on bigger pieces use it as a base or something like that the only color on here that i'm not a huge fan of is probably this color which is the burnt sienna it's a bit too red but <laughs> let's see what happens if i mix it with this pale green which is probably one of my favorite colors on here and i don't have a white right now oh no there's a little bit of blue mixed in that's fine uh, i don't have a white right now so i can feel like i can, might use this to lighten some of the colors up all right let's try this just a little bit it's kind of cool i still have a bit of that blue on there so it's probably making it muddy but mud is good i like mud that's a really lovely color isn't it okay yeah no i can see some possibilities here and i i like this i think this is going to be cool so maybe we sh maybe not today but um one day we should just literally try and use what i have here uh just these six colors i know it's a bit of a strange color combination like i feel it's definitely not traditional but i think you could probably get some really nice dark colors especially if you were to mix the sienna and this blue and then some really nice um, neutrals if you were to mix these three colors in with the others i think i think that might be really nice i'm just gonna cover this page up here <laughs> this bit um i'm gonna doodle over this i think later okay so those are those colors and i definitely think i'm gonna do a color mixing like exercise where i mix all the colors up almost like a chart uh to see what the possibilities are and then also maybe do an entire painting just with these one two three four five six seven colors i think that'd be really cool i'm not sure about these two blues though do you think they clash i think we can make it work because these two colors are kind of cool together like they're both neutral the neutrals of the main color look at me talking like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right well those are the paints i have to wait for this to dry now before we can move on to art graph which i still have literally no idea what this is <laughs> i love how i just saw it in a video i saw sandy has to use it and i was like yeah go on then <laughs> go on i'll give it a go um, and then obviously the main course which is going to be the pastels and I don't think I've shown you this yet I made a little um, DIY storage out of the boxes I basically took the boxes that they were in and I like cellar taped them inside and then I popped this back and yeah, that's what I did pretty simple all right I'll see you back when the paint's dry before we move on I probably should check how other materials go on these paints because if I do this maybe you can see the shine on some of them where they've dried quite glossy and uh, the reason actually why I wanted to buy these paper artsy paints again was because they dry really matte almost like gouache but uh, like I mentioned <laughs> I couldn't buy them because they had a minimum spending limit which was uh, a little bit outside of my budget and that is one thing actually now that I have the acrylics in front of me and they've dried like this that is one thing now that I, I remember why I don't use acrylics because this is this is why so it's going to be very similar to using the paint pens like these Liquitex paint pens if I can find a big one to show you they also have acrylic in and they also dry glossy 
so if i shine um it looks like there's not much difference between the two liquitex or golden it looks like they all have very similar gloss factor so what i've got here is a big box that i was using for my streaming the other day and i'm going to use i'm going to get a whole bunch of different pencils because there's a mix in here they're not going to go with the colors <laughs> but it's fine um let's see so i think these are all the colors that i'm using like all the pencils that i'm using right now i got some polychromos i got another one of these so i'm going to test out polychromos karen dash stabella woody even though technically i don't really call this a colored pencil because it is basically just a wax derwent drawing pencils pasta pencils and a couple of these ones which are the tombos i think that's all i use <laughs> okay cool and then obviously neo colors which will go over anything because they're amazing all right so let's just try this um, okay, so far so good. I would say that Posca, good coverage. Good coverage, no shine. Looks really nice on the dark colours as well as the light. These are the ones I picked up when people online mentioned they go over paint really well. So they they're good. Let's try um polychromos next, which I was I was thinking maybe wouldn't go over because they're a little bit harder. It's kind of hard to see on the dark materials. And yes, okay, so down here, I don't know if you can see, it is struggling a little bit to go over. Over the green, struggling a little bit. Sometimes also it's to do with the shade of the pencil, but that pink, you can see there hardly any pigment is coming off there. But then on this one, lovely, beautiful. And I would say the Caran Dash, I mean, I'm hoping that it goes over well because it's what I use the most. So far, so good. Even over this lime colour, which was not working earlier very well. Let's try a lighter colour. Works well. Now let's try the Tombow Erotogen. Which, I don't know. Sometimes I look at these and I regret buying them. <laughs> I feel like I was swindled by choosing keepings. All right, so I would say these are better than these guys. All right, now let's do the drawing, double drawing, which I, I'm gonna predict they're gonna go over really well because these are kind of like, I don't know, they almost feel like a crayon kind of to me. Oh. Um. I think it's because they're a lighter pigment. All right, let's try this one, which is, has been the worst so far. And they go over, they leave kind of like a weird texture, almost like they're being repelled by the paint, which isn't the best. And then we've got the Neo Colors, which also will go over anything. And they look damn good doing it. <laughs> All right, so we have made a complete mess, but it's fine. So, I think definitely Posca's win. Posca's win. They seize the day and they win. They win everything. They win the gold. And then the Karen Dash win the silver. And these guys are all kind of like the same. I hardly ever use these anymore though, so it's fine. So yes, that was my very scientific, my extremely scientific uh, experiment there. A success. I'm actually really happy with these Posca pencils. I'm going to try and start using them more. They don't have as much variety in colour as the Caran Dash, but they do, like, they are really nice to draw with. They feel really nice. Now we can move on. I hope, is everyone still here? Say yes, I'm here in the comments if you're here. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's try these. Now, I feel like I buy, you, maybe you guys do this too. I always seem to buy um, stuff after watching other people use it, which makes sense because you've seen them use it, you've seen how the colours look, you see how it goes on the paper, and it's a lot more uh, like it, it's a lot more tempting than if you were just to see this on the website. If I just saw this on the website, I never would have bought it. I'd be like, what? But because I saw Sandy Hester use it, she got it because she saw Sarah Dye use it. I feel like it's a chain reaction. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe one of you guys will see me using it and will want to get it too. I think that's awesome, but also kind of scary when you think about the influence that just a video has on someone. I'm back. I had to go uh, empty my memory card and also do some laundry, print some stuff for my Etsy shop and make a cup of coffee. So I've actually been gone for like 20 minutes, or maybe even half an hour. I can't remember what we were talking about. Um, I think I was talking about these, these bad boys. Look at this, this has dried. It looks completely normal again. So I was actually looking at these a little bit more in depth uh, while I was waiting for stuff to print because it was being very noisy. And uh, they don't have the names of the colors on them anywhere. So on, the, on this side, it's exactly the same as on this side. And then on the case, there's like, I don't know if you can see this, there's like some weird symbols here. And I thought these symbols matched up to the colours, so they would have symbols on here that match up to the colours, but they don't. So, not quite sure what that means, but it's going to have to guess what the colours are. I'm pretty sure they're in order, so this one is ochre. Oh, what a beautiful colour this is. And then this next one would be... Which is a super rich colour. Every time I use materials like this, kind of like watercolour, ink, that kind of stuff where the materials go into the water so nicely, it just makes me want to pick up watercolour more or do more stuff with inks. It's a very fleeting uh, desire though. I mean, I do love mixed media, so even if I was to do like watercolour, I would still want to scribble over the top with pencil. This is a lovely colour. It's kind of like a ready brown. It's called brown, I think. The next one's dark brown. Maybe this is the ochre. Now I'm confused. Sanguine, ochre, sepia, brown, dark brown. This definitely isn't dark brown. Maybe this one's brown. Oh, I wish that they would just write the name on them. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what the colours are or, like, what the names are. Because you can kind of... You, you just know what you like, you know? So, look, I'm not sure what they are, but I'm just going to guess, okay? I think this one's Sanguine. I think this one's Sepia. This one's... Oh, no, wait. <laughs> okay. This one's Sanguine. This one's Ochre. This one's dark brown. This one's brown. Uh, some green ochre, sepia, brown, dark brown. I, I know this one's black for sure. This one's definitely sanguine. Or is it sepia? I wanted to see if I can mix them with paint and see what colours they are. Like what colours. So I think I'm going to try it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go bonkers wild and just mix it with some of this Titan Mars Pale. Just see what happens. Ooh, Ooh that's interesting. I mean, I don't know if you would ever want to do this. Maybe you would. It's quite nice. I do like this dark brown colour. I don't know if it is dark brown, but it is lovely. Mix it in a little bit with this paint. I don't know, I think that's kind of a cool look, cool vibe. It gives it more of a gouache feel than a than an inky feel. And I bet these go really nicely together. I bet they bet they mix super well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, these are nice. I like these. The only thing is um the paper. So right now I'm using, like I mentioned, Jackson's. Jackson's Arts watercolor, watercolor sketchbook and I don't think it's professional grade watercolor paper. I It never really bothers me because I don't really use um, wet material that much. Obviously if I'm going to be using stuff like this um, I've got to take that into account because it does buckle the paper quite a bit. You kind of see there it's like dried here but it's really buckly. Let's see if we can use this big fat brush 
and get like a little more kind of coverage so like say for example i was going to use it as a background oops also i don't know what happens about this bamboo thing do i keep it in the bamboo thing all right so lately i've been using like a big fat paintbrush like this and i've been just uh putting oops <laughs> putting some color um in the background and then painting over the top and that is really really nice oh uh, look how nice it is with the texture of the paper okay obsessed officially obsessed with this we're gonna leave it like this i think i'm gonna try and draw over it with some pencils and actually not just scribble this time i'll try and actually draw something i'm not sure what it's gonna be yet but yeah i like these guys i do like these i would say the one thing i don't like about them and i don't know if i'm just being an idiot maybe there is the name on them but i just can't see the name anywhere and i don't think that the name is on them am i am i blind like i don't know so that is one thing i don't like about them but everything else i think is fine if i turn this upside down is the name on the other side i only have five fingers no <laughs> But now I have painted fingers. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to use my hairdryer and dry these, and then we'll be back for the final countdown. Bling, 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 the pastels. The pastels. Oh, I'm so excited, but I'm also scared. I lied. I'm back again. I found the the colors online: sanguine, ochre, dark brown, brown, sepia, black look how dirty my fingernails are <laughs> lovely um while i was online i saw i was going through images just to come to see if people have the colors i saw people using it like this like drawing with it and i thought to myself wow i never would have thought to do that before okay i wonder what i wonder what kind of this would be like as a mixed media like would would pencil go over this also it's still a bit wet right now so it's a bit difficult to hold but wow look at the difference between the ochre dark and light and um watercolor that's crazy difference i do like how like scratchy it is and thin it's almost like a really skinny neo color kind of like smushes in smushes into it almost it's really interesting Hmm. okay well um i did say i wasn't gonna make a mess of scribbles but i can't be trusted uh this page here has dried beautifully i'm actually going to draw on it later i want to move on to the pastels i'm just really excited about them so let's slip this in between i'm gonna go wash my fingers because they're gross and then we'll be back All right, oh, they feel like a cloud, like a cloud. All right, so basically I have no idea anything about pastels at all. I, ha I haven't really been watching YouTube lately. The only reason uh, I really know about them is because I was catching up on videos last week and I watched like six videos in a row and saw um sandy using these and i thought they looked really cool uh and then i went online and i watched a couple of videos like of actual pastelists i think they're called pastelists Ugh, get me like please tell me if i'm wrong there the people that actually like use pastels all the time um and yeah that's it know nothing about them i never would have bought them except from that you can make them wet and I thought they looked so cool when they were like wet. So I'm gonna make all these wet too. I'm not gonna keep them dry, I don't think. This bright pink, how crazy is this color? So yeah, my what basically what I was trying to say is my knowledge of pastels is nil. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to tell the difference between Jackson's Arts and the Unison, which I know the Unison are more professional I guess they're more expensive they're like double the price per pastel uh while jackson's arts is you know kind of like their brand 
but I'm just going to go again like I mentioned before. Oops, I broke it. <laughs> like I mentioned before, it's just going literally by gut feeling, kind of like with the paints on which ones I prefer. I'm also really interested to see how all of these colours go together because I did not go for a curated selection. So, I yeah, I probably should tell you the colours, right? <laughs> Powder blue, white two, rose grey, fluorescent pink, vermilion orange, chromium oxide green, mouse grey. Those are all the Jackson Arts ones. And now let's move on to the Unison, which don't have names, they have numbers. So the thing I did definitely notice about the Unisons compared to the Jackson's Arts is all the sizes are very different from each other. Like, look at the difference between these two. While even though the Jackson Arts are handmade still, uh, they seem more uniform. NE18, light 16, and I can see all this dust making such a mess. Green 3, and I like this colour a lot more than that dark colour there, so pastel -y. Honestly, no idea. I don't know why I got that colour. I don't even like purple. That one's A36, but guys, I don't even like purple. Why do I keep buying purple things? Maybe I do like purple. No, I don't. I don't. BE22. Ooh, that one feels really scratchy. This colour here... I feel like it's going to be a favourite because I love this colour in every single material known. Red 5, but it's kind of like a salmony orange, pink, apricot, and it is beautiful as expected. Y3, and it is beautiful, look at that, that's gorgeous colour. BE34, that's a lovely olivey green colour. I like that one a lot. And then, last one is grey 34. Alright, so let me just see if I can feel the difference. This one's a Jackson's Art, this one is a Unison. Okay, feels good. Let's switch quickly. Honestly guys, they feel exactly the same to me. All right, I'm actually going to do the the mixed colour here, if I can do this. I've put them all in this paper. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, kind of. Look at that little pile of dust there. Lovely. <laughs> all right, let's just see what that colour is going to be. It's going to be like the most random colour. So, so far, the Jackson's Arts ones, um, this one here didn't really seem to want to be dissolved kind of resisted resisted the water so maybe that will be the difference between the unison and the jackson's arts like when it comes to the water soluble and i don't even know if the jackson's art ones are water soluble so if i'm doing this and i'm not actually meant to be using water like look at this it's just it's completely resisting it this is like the strangest scientific experiment I've ever done um yeah if this isn't meant to be used with water and you know this <laughs> I'm sorry I did not know this but ah maybe that will be the big you know deciding factor between the two because I definitely know I want to use them with water like more than anything okay I would say water solubleness um I give it a two out of a two out of five no okay that works so much better look at that oh yeah it's loving it it's loving it oh yeah okay this is so much better guys maybe it's just the jackson's art ones then maybe they're not meant to be water soluble to be fair i didn't actually read anything about them um <laughs> i never really read anything about art materials i'm really bad like that so Maybe they aren't, which is fine. I know now for the future. Oh yeah, I really like these. This is really cool. Okay, that one's the Jackson Art one again. Look at all the difference that is. It's like, nah. No, not today, thank you. <laughs> and then this one here is the blue, grey. Nice. Yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
And this here is the big mess, which is probably going to repel. Yeah, that's cool. No problem. Okay, and now what I think I'm going to do on this side, like this photo here, can you see that? It's a picture of the, like a lake and stuff. So I might just put some down as a background, smish it all in together, and then we can draw over it as a little test. I think that'll be really cool. Uh, yes, okay, this is working. Is it? I can't tell. I love how uncertain I am. This is how I am every time I use a new art material. I'm just like, what? Huh? What's going on? <laughs> Alright, this is not how I want to use it in the future, but let's just see what this is like wet on dry. Dry on wet, I mean. Ooh, uh, it's cool. I like it. That's really cool. It's like so messy, but I love it. I think I'll leave it like that and then I'll let it dry and then again we can draw over it kind of like how we're going to draw over the inks on the other side and yeah I'll write all the names down here and try to separate Jackson's Arts from Unison because yeah these these were a bit disappointing with the water soluble they did work I mean you can kind of a few hours later and uh I just spent a little bit of time um just drawing on this just seeing what it was like Oh, just a really quick sketch and then on this side this is the one that had all the pastels beneath and I just went over with um pencils ne neo colors and I do think it's cool um I think I'm gonna have to work a little bit more because like with the materials um it just it seems very like muddy and it's hard especially with this pastel that I put on that when it was wet it kind of dried and then as you drew over it, it kind of was still chalky here. Uh, like the pastel came up, so it was a bit difficult. A bit difficult to get like really nice white bits and highlights and stuff. But it's very moody. I think it be, could be kind of cool. Just got to work with it a little bit more. It's about quarter to five now. And uh, I do want to do one big sketch in my big sketchbook which is behind me i'm gonna try and use the paints uh a little bit of the pastels i'm not sure if i use any of the art graph stuff we'll see uh, i don't know what colors is going to be or anything like that but i'm just gonna have a play and have a bigger play than like this i'm gonna try not to use too many pastels to start with because i think i definitely need to start small with these until i'm used to them um but yeah I don't think I'm going to talk uh, anything. <laughs> no words will I speak. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm watching Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. I'm like obsessed with it right now, even though I'm pretty sure I've seen every episode in the past. I continue to watch it. Uh, so I'm gonna watch that. Um, that's all, all right, I'm gonna get to drawing and I'll show it to you after, bye. Voice over April here. I thought I would pop a little outro over this painting as I did not realize but this video is almost 50 minutes long it's actually 50 minutes long so I didn't realize as I was filming all of the materials and everything and doing the paintings that this video was going to be a big boy but I do hope that you've enjoyed looking at all the materials let me know if you were inspired by any of them because I bought most of them because I was inspired from someone else so it would be interesting to know if the chain continues. Uh, let me know if you're planning on buying any of these or trying them out in the future. Uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about this painting. I basically popped, I basically tried to make a painting instead of a mixed media piece. Uh, in the end, it definitely turned into more of a mixed media piece. Definitely need to get used to paints and work with them more. Um, I'm actually thinking of trying to get some uh, golden so flat paints because I've heard that they're really flat and I think they'll be similar to Paper Artsy but um, let me know if you have any matte acrylic paints that you can recommend to try out because I would like to try and get a more matte feel that's what I really love about acrylic gouache but obviously acrylic gouache are in tiny tubes so I need something that's going to have a bit more coverage anyway this was the final image that i used with my materials and that was the entire art hole 
So I hope that you enjoyed this midweek video. Have a lovely weekend and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.